Well, it's the start of another video and I have some lens cleaning to do. Um, a lot has happened and there's been a bit of a gap in videos and I have kind of failed at a couple of recordings. Um, so I'm basically doing the bare minimum today to uh, get things done. This had a run up the beach or up some sandy area or at least near the beach so you can tell that from all the sand that's on it. Um, however, we did do a bit of water crossing, which means I've got to put a bit of grease in the outer bearings. I've been neglecting that, and it's bad with an Argo. So that's what we're going to do today. We're also going to pull the battery out of the back here so it doesn't permanently warp the tub. Um, and I might give some of the sand a bit of a wash off. In fact, I think that's going to be easier than shoving my head in there and getting sand on it. Um, we're going to have to undo the straps and roll it back so the holes line up to the top so we can get to the grease nipples and then I have to go and help my mate uh, whose father has died um, and uh, yeah he's clearing out uh, his father's house um, and he's had to travel quite a bit away with COVID and everything to do that um, so yeah that's where a lot of my time's been going lately uh, this is round two um, so yeah my videos have suffered as a result of that but you know, I, I do spend a lot of my time helping other people these days, so uh, it sort of goes with the territory. Anyway, I think we ought to get the hose out first and give this a hose down. Now, before we uh, start hosing everything down, I'm going to undo these couple of clip leads, because these are attached to a prototype motion sensing camera that I've been designing. This is sort of like Mark 4 or 5 of my design. This one's got the infrared camera and illuminators in it. So we will move that out of the way of the hose for now. Chuck it in the back of the ambulance here that looks like a bomb's hit it. And the waddle birds are happy this morning. We fed them. Um, now I need to get this out and this weighs about 40 kilos. So I'm gonna have to stop the camera for that. Well, maybe not. I uh, realized that this new jerry can holder that I got given by my uh, YouTube sponsor which is a TTMI in Mafra they um, donated this jerry can holder which I'm using for a battery I realize it's metal so my magnetic camera mount can stick onto it um, this means I can probably lift this battery out favorite invention. They are somewhat necessary. I had to put a big magnet underneath my winch here to hold this lid up. I'll figure it out. Now I have a grease gun in here somewhere. Hopefully there's enough grease left in this. And a grease rag. And people are already messaging me. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning and I've had 30 messages. Anybody would think I'm still working. Anyway, let's uh, get this grease gun on things. Now, one of the problems I regularly have is to do this on the trailer, 
I've got to get it into some pretty ridiculous positions sometimes to get all these um, greasing holes lined up properly, which is getting pretty close to its balance point here, which is also why I took the uh, the battery out. Um, it's all right as everything's still hitched up, but I'm going to try and grease these guys. I'll start with the two rear ones first, and we might see if we can reach it with the hole in this position um, because I don't want to reel it back very much further. Let's see what we can do. All right. Now, I do have a sideways uh, grease nipple attachment if I'm desperate. I don't want to have to get it out. It's a messy thing. So I'm taking my grease rag here and... Uh, wiping the sand and the grease off the nipple which is going to take a little bit this time I, the last thing I want is to pump sand into the grease nipple or the grease zerk I think as people call them um, I have to work out the entomology of that particular term Where are we? here we go right, we're on Just put a few pumps in until I see a little bit of grease coming out. I do it gently. Right, now I've got a few more of these to do. Now, hopefully this gives you a better view of what's going on. I'm doing this by feel. And I'm pretty sure that's the grease nipple there. Yep, there's our two bolts, it's right between it. All right, Let's see if we can get our gun onto that. Oh, it's not the morning to be kneeling over. Three, four, five, six, usually seven or eight is usually about what I want to put in there. Seven or eight pumps. All right, let's finish. Let's go up to the front, see what we can do. All right, this one's got lots of sand stuck to it. Should have taken it for a bit more of a dip, I think. Would have washed a bit more of the sand off. Uh, all right now this one is about 30 degrees offset it'll be interesting where are we there's my grease fitting up there sorry if my hands are the way guys there we go Some grease coming out. Let's go to the intermediate one. This one's the trickiest one to do on the trailer, oh, especially with the tarp on. There's my nipple. Looking for my greasy nipples, hey? What can we do with that in the pun department? All right. Oh, where are we? We're here somewhere. That year, that feels like it. All right, I can hear the crackle of the grease, so that's where we stop. All right, now we've got four more to do. All right, now's the danger zone because it's right on its balance point and the trailer is a little bit downhill, so I have to pull the handbrake off and roll it forwards to get these ones to line up. skewed on the trailer slightly while I did that too. Luckily it's light enough I can push it around. Now we come to about here. It's where our wheels need to be. So I'm going to put the handbrake on so I don't break my arms. Now of course all this rolling around has meant there's more sand on everything so I've got to give it another, another rinse. Uh,
All right, clean off that grease nipple. This is the uh, front left hand. All right. Where are we? That one. Uh, I've got sand on the front of my grease gun, I think. I'm gonna wipe that clean. And make doubly sure we have no sand on there. Bit of grease in there. All right, let's go down the back. All right, so it's all greased, all eight of them. We've got to roll it forward because we're going to unhitch that trailer because we want to take the ambulance for a drive later. I have rando thongs all over my yard because I keep picking them up when I'm at the beach. They keep washing up out of the ocean, like lots of things. So when I do go up the beach, I make sure not to make a nuisance of myself. And I need to fix my number plate holder. And in addition to not making a nuisance of myself, I try and make sure I clean up as much as I can and leave as little trace as possible. Anyway, let's get this guy rolled forwards. I think maybe for a bit of bonus content we might film me unhitching the trailer just because it's a little unusual all right so i think we're going to put the foot down it's really wet okay let's get this foot down so i have a jockey wheel and i have a foot on this it's a jack whichever you call it this down just to get a bit of pressure on it take out split pin off open the pedal hitch now these are airlifting lugs these can extend out and latch onto both these points with about 12 mil thick steel bars um, so about half inch I think is what that is and um, yeah Now, this particular um, vehicle, has, like both of my Parentes, it has a 12 pin NATO plug. This guy up here. But they're extremely difficult and expensive to get. And I found out that there is a 7 pin flat underneath it controls the, uh, the lights on the door. So I made an inline adapter so I can plug in a 7 pin flat. Just because I can buy them off the shelf. Alright. We should be able to lift this off the tow hitch by the way this trailer combination with the Argo on it is about one ton or a tiny bit more now can I get that past the grease sack I should have put the wheel down that's all good that's in yeah cool let's clear that grease nipple Okay, it means when I drive off, I'm not going to damage anything. Now, as for the grease that I use in the Argo, this is what I use. I use uh, Castrol Sterol Ultra Tech 2. It's basically uni joint grease slash prop shaft grease that has some um, special properties in water. It's supposed to go tacky and help prevent water ingress. Since I've started using that, I've had a lot less water ingress into the bearings. Um, so, yeah, it's certainly helped. All right, well, I am now tired and I haven't even started my day. So I've got to go help a uh, guy clean up his uh, father's deceased estate. So we'll see you when I'm done with that. Anyway, hope you had fun. We'll see you in the next one.